to enter, it is a secured system, so you have to have had access um, approved by your director and by the director of pharmacy before you can get in. Like, I, you could not come to this machine and get in. And then it does ask for a bio ID authorization. Which is what, a password, a code that only you know? No, that, that's the four points on your finger. Mm -hmm. And at that point, when it sees that, yes, I am a person that can get into this machine, that click just unlocked some of the drawers. So the drawers it unlocked is a few medication drawers and some supplies, like tapes and um, syringes, things like that. The, med the drawers that it did not unlock, it does not unlock, unlock any controlled substances. I can't get those open. So then at this point, I have a patient getting ready for surgery on the table. I can remove drugs for a particular patient. And that is by choosing, um, and at this, this is a point that I couldn't have you film this part, but I'm going to choose patient cases, and it's going to give me a list of the patients that I have today, and I'm going to choose the appropriate patient, and I'm going to start removing medications for them. And so that gives a, a documentation of what the patient ha has gotten, you know, for after the fact or is going to get. And um, it also gives an inventory, and it also keeps track of exactly how many narcotics were removed. So I'm going to choose a morphine, and I'm actually, I only want one. Okay. If I wanted more, I could say I wanted. I Quantity want refers to what? How many vials I'm one. going to take out. So I only want to take out one because, and the, only, the reason why I want to only take out one is this system no longer allows me to cancel. I cannot, I cannot say, oops, I made a mistake. I, I have to go ahead and take that medication. I cannot cancel this function once I say dispense. And, that, and that's important because Mr. Daigle... Used that function. He, he would do what? He would dispense? He would hit dispense and then say cancel. But then he would be able to get, the pot drawer would open for him and he would be able to take that drug. Change it and bring it back. I see. Okay. So that, no matter what I do to the system, and I have all access to the system, I can't make it do that for me. It will not anymore. Okay. You cannot cancel, uh, the, the, the official term was cancel removal. That's not allowed on this machine anymore. It just won't do it. It doesn't have the capability. Okay. And so, uh, and this drawer opens, and I pull it all the way open mm -hmm. until I can't pull it anymore. And only the dose that I asked for is available. One dose. Um. I asked for one vial. Two, but it's only going to let me see what I what need, you what I asked for, which is another improvement. So presumably there's another dose behind that number five. Right. Compartment. There's many doses back there. But it'll only pull open to exactly what you told it it needed. Oh, so you would order one, but it would sort of pop open multiple doses and, you, and, the, and you were to take the idea one. was you were to take one, but of course if you were acting in an improper fashion, you might take more. Right. And that would register though, you would get a discrepancy. How could you cover your tracks? You, you couldn't if you literally took them and proceeded on, I, we would still find you. But if you canceled removal, it was as if you didn't take any because you were putting it back. So I, see. I have to remove this and shut it. And so now I'm done with this particular process. And I'm going to go to main menu. But now I have this morphine in my hand. I have no patient here. Right. And I need to return it to the system. I'm going to hit return. And then, um, yes, one vial, except, and then that's where Melissa has to see that I have a bottle of mm -hmm. morphine, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm returning, and she has to witness that I am returning it. So it's not one person saying they're putting it in this mailbox. Oh. 
it's okay. two people agreeing that that's what I put in there. And so now she will come up as a discrepancy or hey, you're wrong. Or, right. And anything, anything that's returned here is supposed to be intact. It's not a half open file. It's not a wasted tablet. It is complete. And at another facility, they may use those, but we don't. If it's removed here from this very secure area, we're never going to give it again to a patient. Even though it is completely intact with the seal and looks like there's nothing wrong with it. It never goes back in the Pixis machine, um, in these Pixis machines to be given to a patient. They, are, they go back to a waste section downstairs and then are destroyed. You, you cannot um, really eliminate every avenue that a drug abuser is going to try. They're very inventive and very manipulative. But you can... Reduce. You can reduce their opportunities to do so.